How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna show you this. How to set a time limit for a specific app or for a group of apps on your iPhone. The coolest thing about this method is that it's 100% native so you don't need to download anything and of course you don't need to pay for anything, it's free. And on top of that, you can use this tutorial right here if you want to create a time limit for you as an adult if you don't want to spend too much time using certain apps, right? Like social media, for example, and of course for a child, so you can easily control and monitor their app usage, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see, I've just removed the limit that I had here on Instagram, just so I can show you from the beginning, from the top, step by step, as I always do, all right? So all you have to do is go to your settings, and then scroll down just a bit until you see screen time. That's the feature we're going to use to create the app limit, okay? So tap on screen time. If it's the first time ever that you're using screen time, you're going to see a hello, welcome screen, a little bit different from this one. And then you can just continue, accept, and of course, and this is very important, you will choose if this iPhone is yours as an adult, or if it's a child's phone, okay? It's very important that you choose correctly on this very first step. Okay, after that, you're gonna see this very same screen as you're seeing right here for screen time. And then the first thing you need to do is scroll down and then tap on lock screen time settings because we're gonna need to create a passcode, a specific passcode for screen time. You're gonna understand that in a second. And this is important either if we're using this for you as an adult or for a child especially, okay? So create uh, your screen time passcode. I'm gonna create this one so it's easier for us. And of course, I recommend that you use a different uh, screen time passcode than this and a different screen time passcode from your lock screen passcode, okay? choose a different one, a different code, so then, especially if it's a child, uh, they won't know this passcode right here, just you will know, all right? So do that, and then it's gonna ask if you wanna have the possibility to recover uh, the screen time passcode, this one that we have just created, if we forget it using your Apple ID. And again, you have to see if you're doing this for a child, if they know uh, the Apple ID password, they will be able to recover it. So I don't recommend that you enable this option. All right, so just make sure to memorize, memorize and don't forget. If you're doing this for yourself, then you can type in right here your password for your Apple ID and tap on OK, all right? In my case, I'm gonna tap on cancel because I don't want this code to be recovered. I will remember it, I won't forget it, all right? So tap on skip and then we're done. We have created a custom screen time passcode. And then uh, you can swipe up and tap on app and website activity. Of course, it's gonna ask for the code from now on every single change will require the code, right? Then turn on, and then you'll see right here, app limits in yellow, tap on it, and then as you can see, we have add limit. And right here is where we're gonna create the app limit. So tap on it, and then you can choose a category of apps. So for example, if you wanna create a time limit uh, for all your social media, you can tap here on social, as you can see, tap here and then it's gonna select everything. But if you just wanna select for one or two apps, you can deselect and then of course uh, tap manually here, for example. In this case, I'm just gonna use Instagram, okay? So tap on next. And then here, you're gonna select the limit itself. So how many hours or minutes you will be able to use the app, in this case, Instagram or the group of apps every single day before it blocks. So uh, let's say I put here one minute. So I'm just gonna be able to use Instagram one single minute and then it's gonna lock and then the only way to unlock it is of course with the code that we have created, okay? I'm gonna use one minute just so it's easier for us here in the video, but of course, choose the amount of minutes or hours you wanna create your app time limit, right? Right here, you can customize your days as well because maybe you wanna create a limit for weekdays but not really for weekends, so it's up to you. And of course here, block at end of limit, yes, you will need to have this option enabled, otherwise it won't lock and then there's no point, right? Okay, so done, now I can tap on add, and as you can see right here, we have Instagram, one minute every day, perfect, we're done. So then I can exit my settings, and as I come here to Instagram, as you can see, Instagram is already locked, 
So uh, the screen time feature, uh, it will take action immediately. So as I said, for one minute, I have used Instagram more than a minute, of course, the whole day. So then it's already locked. So as you can see, it's instantly on. And the way this works is super simple. You tap on the app, and if the time limit has already expired, right? If you have used more than your limit, you have pretty much two options, tap on okay, and then it comes back. Or of course, tap here on ask for more time. And then this is important. Uh, the first time it reaches the limit, so every day, right? You're using the app, it reaches the limit once, you will be able to use it for one more minute just once, okay? Just this very first time. And after that, you only be able to use the app with the code and that's why you have here enter screen time passcode because if you want to use more and i'm going to put here the code right we have created uh if you want to prove for 15 minutes an hour or a full day all of those options will only be possible with the code so then again as i said as soon as the limit is created and as soon as you reach that limit you will only be able to use for one more minute and then as soon as that minute is over, the only way to use the app more, to use the app further, is by, of course, tapping here and typing here the passcode, and then you can choose 50 minutes, an hour, or approve the rest of the day, all right? So that's how it works. That's how you create using screen time your app limit, so then you can control your usage or your child's usage much, much better, and then of course, optimize your time and stop wasting too much of your time on useless apps, okay? So, that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.